Welcome to 100 Trades in Review Lesson 11. I don't know why my hands did that. I feel like there was a delay there from brain to hands. Maybe I'm getting too old. Who knows? But anyways, we're here for another trade in review. Today, it's by iHeVet. But before we get into that from iHeVet, let's talk about Chart Raiders. Chart Raiders are going to the alpha launch soon. You've all heard the spiel. Go to Chart Raiders YouTube channel. Go to the socials. Check it out. Chart Raiders is a software I've been developing for a year and a half, which will be coming out soon. And uh, like my black nail polish, it's ultra fancy. So check it out, Chart Raiders. Otherwise, let's get into a trade by iHeVet. Okay, let's see what he's this got. This is going to be Whoa. a... 10 minute video, dude. What is this? Okay, that's fine. Let's watch it. We're in it. Trade review video. I'm starting it a little late because I had some audio issues with my mic and stuff in OBS. So unfortunately, we're uh, showing up late to the party with the recording here. But thank God for being late, uh, dude. We'll do a quick uh, recap. Fucking 30 minute video. Here. So we had uh, I'm kidding, hourly, dude. <laughs> uh, level on the top looking to break up further in Bitcoin. And um, uh, we so came back down and really? held the 15 minute polarity as we said here and basically i'm kind of so the the first thing i'm going to say is here when when you have like a wick here that misses a level and then a ladder point here the first thing i always do is i go look for the origin i say oh hold on a second some some leg of the move got hit we've got to find that origin and i start to engineer off that so that, that like i could be wrong here i don't know obviously i can't dive into time frames here I, I don't have magic i'm not a wizard but if i was that's the first thing i would do i'd say okay where's the origin and it may or may not Doing be there. this is a plus one minus one situation maybe we shouldn't pause this will be an hour long video now if we can maintain this uh Shout out to Ahivet. 15 minute trend, <laughs> then we'll be moving up um, likely to at least this hourly here to, to create, you know, the, the hourly trail and hourly to hourly. Uh, another thing uh, so I, I would like to for, see here for a nice is creating the trend off the very top of this move here. This is something like I'm always trying to do forward thinking in my trading. So, you know, I'm just going to rewind this a few seconds here and get to the point where he shows the top of his chart. Like I would like to see this origin hit here, like this break of the move, create a potential origin for the future and then create a trend off of that from here. So I would say like, oh, this origin can be hit, but it's not going to hit it right on the nose, right? Like you're always going to deep dive that origin. So why can't you go a little higher go above that use that as your entry for the future put your order you know 20 or 30 percent above that leg maybe 20 percent, and then draw the trend to that i think that's like a, a good way if you're going to target this 28062 i think you just go a little higher because then you're just going to be like you have this here and we, we we crystal ball inside of this thing and you have like maybe a five minute origin you're not going to break the five minute origin and then stop 20 dollars later and dump down you're going to go up spike the next higher time frame and then you're going to origin that right or at least create the break of the move to, to start hour, origin hour. setup in the future um, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking trend for setup, a nice, origin um, setup. My entry is right on the 15 minute trend. Um, Good job. In this moment here, I had watched the deep dive come back up and test the origin. So, oh, breaking um, over that local origin too. Sick. 6, 15 here, six, 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 like 27, right 7, 17. So sick. I grabbed this entry here and now I'm just riding up with this five minute trend as uh, kind of my trigger point here in this trade. Again, targeting uh, up towards this location all the way up here. So we'll, we'll uh, be able to monitor it as it hits these levels up here and see what's going on. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to be going for this level. So yeah. I feel like his a higher orange trend, level is the right level to go for. Um, because we had formed this uh, trend on the 15, and this was kind of crucial to this moment here. I went with uh, the five minute as my local, to just to, as a uh, you know time frame down. It's appropriate. Go to the next piece, start here, hard close here, break yeah. up. Yeah, great, point. great trend work. Absolutely so, yeah, correct, 100%. Much do now sit and wait, see if this trigger gets uh, hit or if uh, target gets hit first, either one. Nice, so no matter what, he's locking up profits. Really, it's gotten to a point now where they're getting this five-minute hold level. It's uh, getting close to time to consider an exit. I love how he's putting uh, such a harsh point of compression on his chart. Like, if you look at this, you've got a trend right here, right? You've got your hold level right here. You'd almost want to enter the sucker short off the bounce of this. You'd almost want to say, screw this, dude. I'm entering short here because everything's going to crush it down. I love that he's putting such a, like a, 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 a laser finite point that can break the charts. It's just like lose the hold level, lose a trend. It's going to happen bang, bang fast. And I think this is like really smart. I love how harsh his rules are on this chart. I think it's I think it's very smart. Closing and gaining this will kind of freak me out. So I'll kind of let it look for an instant bounce up. But if it starts, you know, bouncing against it and holding it and a couple little misclicks on my OBS, don't mind that. Out. The only thing I think I really miss is a possible back test to this five minute origin. So I yeah, I think that's the only other thing, right? Like this origin is a huge uh, support. Stop loss shortly under that. And it can create the uh, 15 minute trend from this maybe. Profits for myself, no matter what. Yeah, he's in. He's locking up profits no matter what. He's dragging his stop. Okay, so he's putting it below the five minutes. So I like that. It's going to be the true test here. I like, like that. See, uh, it either dive and hit that origin and regain trend. I think this is a uh, great spot to bounce a trade. It's exactly where you'd enter long. So why why exit short prior? I don't really see us creating any origins or anything. Let's go, dude. On the top, it's a five minute trend again. Trigger points looking pretty perfect here. 
his so trend is to it. It's like stick so perfect. Plan. I said that right at the beginning, like perfect trend, trend work. I'm glad to see it's side. working out for him. God, I heave that as a monster, dude. Pushing up, maintain. If not, we'll just get out and take our uh, small profits. He gets into such so good trades, dude. He's such a monster. About 108. Next one comes in about 130, and the last one comes in about. I don't like 160, dude. Would don't like do it. Don't. I don't want to see it, man. Continue to maintain this trend here. I'm gonna pull you aside. We're gonna have a little chat. So that's, if you go for that uh, we'll 28055, here, and if you I'll go probably, for it and it hits and it pulls back, we're going to have another bigger chat because you make me look like an ass. Um, if it, <laughs> I'm kidding. Here, I do that all uh, on my I'll own. I don't need you to help for, me with that. You know, some levels to establish and hold for a few minutes, and, I, and I'll probably get out there and just forfeit the last uh, 30, 40% there. And uh, otherwise, we'll just go straight to the target. Do have to be a little careful here because you are testing this hourly wick, so I am prepared to. Uh, oh, he hit the hourly. Do you? Do you get out of this trade at this point? We'll be giving up a little too much profit if we allow this You need to you need to draw your interior like right here. You need this interior. Point. This right here to this right here because if it hits it again and pulls back you got to get out interior we'll will override this. More internal stop loss here. Okay. This is where that stuff gets really fun. This, this is where day trading really comes alive. Lines up with the 1 minute I was just thinking about. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and um, uh, move our stop up stop up to this location and just secure some more profits because at that point getting below this is going to be a uh, very hard to regain this trend so yeah 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 good 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 i love really that just like to see this backside level hold not break below this ladder point otherwise we're just going to get out of the trade we've already secured i feel a like profits on this trade so we're, we're just seeing if five we minutes into more, a 10 minute video not, i feel like he's we not getting under this trade yet 50 percent in this trade so that's call good. me crazy because in reality if we go back down here we could you know likely even just test this front side hold here and at that point I'm giving that's away your re-entry you don't profit, you don't so. you don't you don't soak the 40 percent you re-enter Scenario. And additionally, getting below this 15 is, of course, bad because yeah. then at that point, you know, decycling off of this hourly, going from yep. hourly to 15, if you hold that, you know, this yep. could yep. 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 So Perfect. Plus one, minus one elements. time frame down to the 15. Don't and gain that 15. To maintain our trend. Perfect at assessment day, by this is our trigger point. 10 out of 10 TA so far. Right up with this hourly level, reversing it now. Do not want to see it break this local range at this point. We want to see it uh, just bust against this and straight up. We have developed this next 15 to gain here. So again, that's not the best sign. I really would just like to, to see this, uh, see it maintain this this local piece at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, yep. lock up a little bit more here. Probably another 10%. Go Good. 786. Good. He's just moving up his trade. Loss, Good. But getting to the point now where it looks like this thing has what it needs to take another swing down. So I'm just going to make sure I come out of this on top. God, I love this so video again, of Biohevent. It's rapidly now, aging me due to its length. But other than that, it's like quality, quality, 10 out of 10 TA. Very, really very well executed. Below this five. Really looking for a pump up the next if you want to go for like I'm just, uh, gonna go reverse ahead age preservation, put this put this video on repeat. Whoa, that's a trading view error. Whoa. <laughs> Bit of an error there. We're gonna see if we can go, go ahead and get our limit exit now. The new candle actually came up at 5:16 rather than f five minutes. So that was a little weird. Kind of caught me off guard. Uh oh. And boom. There's your instant dump off that uh, that trigger there. So. Oh. oh. Yep. Smoked. Hopefully we didn't get crushed too hard by that liquidation. Well, it's not a liquidation. 60% profits. Get crushed too much by that uh, volatility there because that happened fast enough that we may have gotten a poor exit. But it looks like we locked up 60% which still pretty decent yo from our entry is about here which is which is about right where our stop loss was so it actually executed pretty well uh, maybe lost a few dollars on it but great job um nice that's trade okay so 60% in the trade um whether or not we made the decision right decision i'm going to check back in uh you know an hour or two and see where this thing went and see if i made the right decision or not oh i like but, uh, this besides that it was a you know, pretty decent trade. Um, a follow-up. Set on the day now. Nice. So, I don't have to uh, do we'll it. This is perfect. And, uh, I love it. Hitting it again tomorrow. All right. It just came back. Um, it never did back test the polarity. We did dump a good little bit, but we actually ended up ho holding up this break level here. But like, no, so because you can't. You can't hold the trade that long. Here because we've got a, that perfect 15 to uh, decycle this move into possibly even testing this trend again. So I'm gonna enter here, and this only has an 8% stop. So like, very, very low risk here. And Interesting. Go ahead and try to. Uh, oh, so he's gonna do a double under some, here. Uh, cheeky move off this this fifteen. And, and I like right, it. You know. I like it, man. It okay, let's see. Let's go, guys. dude. Good so luck. Oh, he drew his trend. Yes, uh, I talked about that earlier. Yep. This, Good this job. Way. And I'll go ahead. And nah, the real question is, do you enter trend one hour or, or the fifteen? If we go ahead and you enter the fifteen. There's like no right difference in percentage. You don't miss the move over something so silly. Or close to it. Only I'm allowed to make that play. Here, I'll be looking to break this and go lower. That is entry to the dollar. Let's see if we can form this one minute hold now. Nice dude. Literally Mind said I was done trading, but this just looks kind of cheeky, so
Maybe we can snag an extra little icing on the cake today. Yeah. Okay. If we do gain this 15-minute hold. I'll probably. I have to sneeze. This is not good. It's going to ruin his trade if I sneeze. I got to try to hold to myself together till the end of this thing. Five seconds here. So he's just looking for a nice yeah, little yeah, scalp. I love this trade. Second, again, this is really just. I love this trade. This is so smart. This is such a sick trade. He takes a 15. He knows it's going to move up. He's he's taking a stop in profits. Dude, I love this trade. It's so good. All right, that should be it. It's such a smart trade. It's so perfectly executed. Yep. So that was what? Like. Who cares if it goes down more? It's like a free scalp percentage. Like, this is great. So that makes three trades on the day for about 125%. That's pretty good. I'll take that for a solid my day absolute trading, favorite trade so there. far in a hundred trades uh, reviewed. Insane. Yeah, I can kind of walk away happy now and not uh, worry about coffee the chart up. The rest of the day. That just like, dude, All amazing right, trade. I'm actually man. done this time. See you. All right, I'm back again, one more time. Um, oh my god, dude, he's back. He's a monster. He's not stopping. Obvious mistake. It was nice to lock up that last little bit. <gasps> oh, he could have made a time, huge. Really, like I even said before, that this uh, dude level can very likely you know trigger you back to the bottom of this range and he so, did say that too yeah um, he did say that i should have held out there. for a little more gotten a little more out of it but all in all still a great day so yeah nice to see him just go back and kind of capitulate all his all his work into one spot and just say like look i still wanted to go back and check out the uh the review of the trade afterwards what do you what do you say about that there's nothing to say like i he that made insanely good trades nothing but profits he he did amazing ta just nothing but but praise on my end i think that was an a masterfully executed trade my favorite of the series so far he knocked confused off the crown for my other favorite video so sorry confused but i that takes a crown and uh we'll see you on the next one